Hi, my name's Joe and I'm here to talk to you about the simple crown and bridge workflow within Mailbox. So let's get started. We're going to click new job. The first thing you'll see is machine selection. So I'll choose DCI and it's worth mentioning that you can select a tool package from here. It's best that you liaise with your dealer for which tools and tool package is best for you. But today I'm going to use the UK tool set, which are all DG Shape branded tools. Once you're happy, you can then choose a material. So I'm going to choose zirconia. Then you can move on to selecting a fixture type. I'm going to use a disc, but the CAD block option is available. And then you click next. The next part is STL import. So I'm going to choose this full contour crown and I'm going to tell Millbox that it is a full contour crown for strategy selection. It's worth mentioning you can add a full list in or you can use this plus here to add different types in. So once you're happy, you can then select next. Millbox is now going to analyze the STL and look for no-go zones or margin lines or in the case of screw retain crowns, it's going to look for drill lines or holes within the crown. We can either select a pre-existing disc or a new disc. So as you can see from the top right, the minimum thickness required is 10.35 mil. So I'm going to use a 14 mil disc and I'm going to select a new disc. The scale factor should be on the side of a disc. You select a name. So today I'm going to use test and a lock code should also be on the disc as well. Today I'm going to use one as an example. Once you're happy, it's going to automatically nest that crown within that disc. So using control E, I can get rid of the equipment or within the tools, show and hide and show fixture. It just makes life a little bit easier to determine whether you want to move any of these connectors. So this one here, I don't want on a contact point, so I'm going to select it. It's going to turn gray and then you simply drag it along this equator line. If you move it above or below the equator line, you're going to give yourself a chance of creating an undercut. Here you can also choose non-cuttable, semi-cuttable or cuttable. The size of the connector and the shape of the connector. Once you're happy, you just click in negative space, have a quick check, and move on to either start milling, which you need the machine connected and it will stream the job 5% at a time, or you use save toolpath, which today I'm going to select. So then I'm going to ask you for the adapter code. So I'm going to choose A. Here are your milling options. Default is internal cover T3 plus 2, and I'm going to select 3 plus 2 automatic for the external undercuts. Automatic just means the software is going to look for the undercuts within the crown. If you were going to choose manual, you use a tool called select in this list over here. I'm going to turn on the 0.3 anatomic detail, and I'm going to use the rest milling inside the cavity and keep the brush tool on for zirconia. Once you're happy, you click next and the job will calculate. The job starts calculating and that's it. That's the simple crown and bridge workflow within Millbox. Thank you.